I think I try to make order out of chaos. I'm a great gleaner. When I'm walking, I'm picking things up, something ran over or thrown in the dumpster, it's gonna to go to the landfill, and reconstructing it into my world and bringing it back out into the universe for another life, another journey. There's something about the gleaning that I think has been in my DNA from a small child. In Kansas, going down the alleys with my little wagon, looking in dumpsters and the trash cans, and I take these things, put them in my little wagon, bring them back and put them in the garage. So there was a very early sense of gathering and, and the gleaning of objects. So when I'm gathering things, I'll come home and lay them out like this, press over them, you know, clean them, put all the right sticks in one order and so forth. And it's my kind of meditative playfulness. There is something about the thrill of the moment, the perk of it could be this. I mean, this to me could very easily be an earring. It could very easily be a brooch. In our jewelry community, that's always a tennis match back and forth, talking with other makers, you know. I've had people say, oh, if you take, an, you take that piece of broken glass out of there and put a diamond in there and put that gold band on that, I've got money, I'll buy three of those. But to buy that tin can crush with a piece of beach glass, uh, I don't get it. This is just a mystery. It's just stuff. But when I take this, that, and put it into my formal resting place, and it's on the body, I don't think it quickly calibrates like it does when it's free. The work that I do is unusual because it's not about gold and diamonds. It's about things that I find discards in the flea market, or on the street, or in the dumpster. My work is not about intrinsic value. I think the value is of my sense of design and, and my language. I know the rhythm. I know the tools, I know the language. I love dancing with it.